Hey everyone, it's Kelly. I'm back today with a PicMonkey tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to add curved text to your photos. So to start, you're going to go over to text, which is on the very left hand sidebar all the way up at the top, and then you're going to click the add text icon. Now you can change the font by clicking on that little drop down box in the text box and then you just choose whichever font you like. I like to use a typewriter font for my project life spread so that is what I'm going to pick here. So once I have that selected, I'm gonna go ahead and start typing my text and I'm actually gonna add this to the photo with the popcorn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it written out what I want it to say and then once I have that all done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stretch the text box a little bit just to make it the same width as the photo and then I'm also gonna shrink down the text because I want it to be fairly small and on a single line before I change it to the curved text. So to get it into that arched shape, what you're going to do is you're gonna to go to the effects option within that text box. And when I say text box, I mean the pop-up box that is right now it's on the left-hand screen. It's what I am changing the size right now. You'll click on the effects, You'll go down and click the check mark next to curved text and it will automatically default it to an arc. You can change the arc shape by dragging the slider to the left and the right and that will just adjust how much of an arc you have there. And here's where I'm showing you how to do that. So you'll see the text shape change. It'll become more of an arc and then it'll. you can also take it the other way if you want the arc to be facing down instead of facing up. Hopefully that makes sense on how I'm explaining that there. So I'm just going to readjust this to fit the photo and where I want that text to go. I love to add text to my photos before I print them because it helps add to the stories I use in my project life without me having to use a journaling card. So you can also change the shape of the text into a full circle just by clicking that little drop down box and changing it to circle. But for me, I just want to keep it into this arc. You can also change the color of the font. If you want to change the color, you'll do that within that text pop-up. Just click that black dot, and then you can use an eye, the eyedropper tool to select a color within your photo if you want it to match a color that's already in your photo, or you can type in the code if you know the code that you want to use for the certain color that you want to use. They also have a color palette that you can choose from if you want to select just a primary color or color that colors that you've used on past projects that you've created within PicMonkey. So in my last Project Life spread, I shared this photo where I had multiple lines of curved text going across this plate. And I want to show you how to do that because it is a little bit different. You can't just type all of the text out within the text box and then select the curved option because it will merge all of the letters together to create a single arch. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is all of the text that I want to add to this picture. And when I change it to the curved text to create that arc, it merges all of the letters together and it you can't read it. You can't read any part of it. So what you have to do is you have to add each line individually. So I'm going to go ahead and type out my text. I made the text box the size of the photo because then I know that it will stay within a single line. And I'm going to go ahead and click curve text. And then I'm going to change the arc shape just to get it so it matches the plate. I will rotate it slightly just by clicking on the text and then I use that little white dot that's in the text box and just rotate it until I'm pretty happy with how that arc or arch sits on the photo. Then to get the next line on there, I'm going to right click and click duplicate layer or you can use the shortcut key on your keyboard, control D and it'll duplicate the layer. Just erase the text that it duplicates and then type in your next line. Now, once you do that, you do not have to go back to the effects and click curve text because it was a duplicate from the layer before. It will automatically curve the text for you when you click out of the text box. When you're typing up your text when it comes to curve text, if you've already curved it and you need to edit it and you click on the edit box, it will change the curve back to being a flat line so it's easier for you to see as you're typing so don't be surprised by that if you have to go back in and edit any of the text it'll go flat and then when you click out of the text box it'll add that curve back in for you 
You can select all of the layers in the layers panel, all of the text layers, if you need to change the size or if you want to shift them up and down as a group, you just select all of them and do it that way. So here are some examples of some projects that I've created with the curved text. There you can see where I added it to the popcorn picture and then this next picture is going to be the multiple layers of text on the photo. Again, I like to do that because the story is right there. I don't have to worry about taking up another pocket by having to add in a journaling card. And here is another picture from a previous, previous spread as well where I added some text around one of the pancakes. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. I do have a few more ideas in mind for PicMonkey tutorials, but if you have any suggestions, I'm always open for suggestions. So if there's something that you would like to learn and you're curious if it can be done in PicMonkey, please let me know and I will work on figuring out if it can be done there and show it in a process video. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back again soon.